Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500, the opener of the Season 1 Sprite Cup Series Playoffs. It's a beautiful day for racing. 22 cars lined up, but 16 of those are in contention for the championship. Now let's look at your drivers to watch for. On the pole is Chase Elliott. Playoff contender. He's at the fastest slap in qualifying sessions to win this pole. He's got a pretty fast race car. We'll see if he can win today. Ryan Winnie, regular season champion. Starting 8th right now. Current points leader. We'll see what he can do. Dark Horse. Daryl Wallace Jr. He made it into the playoffs despite being below the cut line for most of the regular season. And another dark horse that made the playoffs, Kyle Larson. We'll see what he can do for the remainder of season one. Now let's look. Now it is time for the command. Gentlemen, start your engines! Cars fired up and roll off for 10 laps on this 2.5 mile D-shaped oval. Now, let's look at your starting lineup. In row one is Chase Elliott and Jimmy Johnson. In row two is Martin Truex Jr. and Eric Jones. Row three, Joey Logano and Kurt Busch. Row four, Paul Menard, Ryan Blaney. Row 5, Danny Hamlin, Alex Bowman. Row 6, Austin Dillon, Bubba Wallace. Row 7, Roush Teammates. Ryan Newman, Ricky Stenhouse. Row 8, Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski. Row 9, William Byron, Clint Boyer. Row 10, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson. Row 11, Eric Almarola, Daniel Suarez. Here they come into turn three. The playoffs are about to begin. Green flag in the air. We are racing here at Texas. Off turn two down the back straight away. Kurt Busch with a good run. Goes up to second. Now Johnson will overtake Kurt Busch for second. As Jimmy Johnson went out, tried to do side draft on Chase Elliott to try to take the Here comes Eric Jones with a run. Now he moves up to second. Eric Jones not trying to get a side draft on him. Oh, crash! Paul Menard and Alex Bowman crash in turn four. Caution is out. All right, let's see what happened. Alex Bowman was running the high line in turn three. He just tried to come back down, but Paul Menard was, uh, was already there. Both of them go up into the wall. a tough break for them they'll be out of the race but neither of them were playoff contenders so doesn't do much to shake up that but anyway we are ready to go back green flag racing on lap six out of ten five laps to go at texas green flags back out in the air chase elliott will still be your leader jones try, try to go up to the high side to get a good draft but jimmy overtakes him if Jimmy Johnson will not try to get the side draft on Chase Elliott. Now Eric Jones is coming back with Joey Logano. Oh, big crash on the back stretch. Caution's back out. William Byron, Ryan Newman, Daniel Suarez, Austin Dillon. Four cars pile up. And now the red flag is out. And some of the cars did spill excessive oil. Let's take, a look, let's take a look at what happened. Right side of your screen, the 3, the 24, the 6, and the 41. Also, it's just got in the back of William Byron. Takes out Austin Dillon. Well, heavy hit by the 41 to the 3.
watch it again. Wow. Heavy, heavy crash. Tough break for them, they're out of the race. Now the red flag has been lifted, we are back under yellow flag condition. There are the 16 cars left in this race. All of them playoff contenders. All six non-playoff contenders taken out. So we'll see what happens on this next restart. We'll restart in overtime. Two laps to go at Texas. Green flag is back out. Just trying to get it, trying to get some, trying to make something happen. Mark Tricks, you know they're in second. And off a of turn four, J Chase Elliott will win the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500. He won the season opener at Daytona in May. Today, he wins the playoff opener. Burn it down. Congratulations to N1SC4R and Chase Elliott for winning here at Texas. Here are your final results. Chase Elliott winning the race as his second win this season. Martin Schroeder Jr. coming up second. Good result for him. Darrell Wallace Jr. third. Jimmy Johnson fourth. Brian Blaney finished where he started eighth. Carlos did not have a good day, finished 14th. And 17th on down of the DNFs. None of them playoff contenders. So, not too big of a deal. Here are your point standings after today. Jimmy Johnson takes over the points lead. Ryan Blaney, two points back, falls back to second. And Kyle Busch has the last transfer spot into the round of 12. It's 13th to 16th. It's currently out of the playoffs. So if those four drivers can get some good results, could make it to the round of 12. And out of the playoffs, no one really cares about them. You can just read it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this race. That's it for me. Peace. Brandon Gomez in the booth, signing out.